Hey, welcome to a new episode of K-Files. Uh, I'd like to say thanks to everyone who left a comment on the, the first video. And, uh, and all the new subscribers that have come along. I truly appreciate it. So on today's episode, I want to talk about the band, The Smut Peddlers. They've been friends of ours for many years. We met during the Big Brother days. We met Gish, the bass player, at World Industries. He used to work in the back warehouse. And he would always come up and give us a hard time. And we would always go see them play throughout the South Bay area at all the bars and stuff. And they became pretty popular fast. With that, it led to the, having them play at our premiere parties. And all their songs pretty much landed on our soundtrack of the Big Brother videos. Eventually, when we started making Jackass movies, their music landed on that too. I mean, of course, it's a natural fit. Over the course of time, things eventually led me to direct the Smut Peddler's first music video. We shot in Chicken's Backyard in Huntington Beach, California. Chicken is a big industry guy. He was one of the few who built a pool in their backyard along with Kelly Belmar. Jeff Tremaine helped me, uh, essentially kind of producing it along with me. We had a lot of great skateboarding talent. Omar's son, Dave Rule, Chris Gentry, uh, Ricky Barnes, and as well as Jeff Grosso. He's a big fan of the band. Johnny Knoxville came all the way down to Huntington Beach to, to be an extra in the video. He sang along with them. And the little kid in the video is Ricky Barnes' son. And uh, it was a great day. I just remember having so much fun. John, the singer, is such a candid, crazy-looking guy. And I just love that he had the welding goggles on <laughs> during the video. It made it really fun. And it happens to be, you know, one of my top videos that plays on my channel. But the point I really want to get to is... Um, it's kind of a bummer that the Smut Peddlers are on hiatus. They have been for a few years now, and they're kind of missing out. There's all these big festivals taking place here in Southern California, and they're not on the bill. They're not writing new music. They're not doing anything. So the petition starts here. I think if you guys all leave a comment expressing how much you think they need to be playing, writing new music, and touring, and they'll eventually get the message. With that being said, that's it for this episode of K-Files. We'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.